Would that he would follow the workers into the light of the day. There was another light on the parallel track, an opposing train on the other side of the platform, a light that reminded him of a particular eminence contained above the city streets and writing rooms everywhere, a light that penetrated even the darkest hours, a light that knew no age, boundless energy, the soft, warm, inescapable light of thought mixed with terminal passion. Will was to catch the train back from whence he came. He made his way between supports in the tunnel, and then a lady grabbed his arm just after he saw her thin wrist flashing out from the darkness like a shiner. Where are you going? she asked. Are you following me? No, I mean yes. Why? Because I'm worried about you. Because I miss you. He pulled his arm away from her. You miss me? We just saw one another, Cass. You must have something better to do. Don't you have some boy to chase between me and nothing? You're so defensive. What did I do? Are you angry because I caught you? I know your thirst. Caught me? Caught me catching a train home? Okay. You caught me. He put his hands in the air. I'm guilty of public transportation. I suppose you're going to ride in the car behind me. Unprofessional for a spy to travel alongside the person she's spying on. Even worse, with you reaching for what's not my weapon. I have no intention of getting on this train, she said. Don't flatter yourself, Will. I'm heading east to the Gold Coast. Go then, trouble me no more. Go max out your credit cards on spandex bodysuits, gangsta chic. Will returned home with trouble on his mind. No one likes to be hunted down in train stations. He flipped through an old address book and called an old flame. A true love, Helen. He told her he had seen her walk down the street the other day with a friend and how he could not get her off his mind and asked, can I buy you lunch sometime? They arranged to go downtown for lunch by the Chicago River. The night before, he had driven his motorcycle out the shop after the mechanic told him what a bitch taking the entire tank off to reach the air filter had been. The guy was real blunt about his bike and the piss-poor design of that year's model. Between the lines, Will realized the man was calling him a fool. He paid dollar for that bike. But by the end, the guy had him laughing so hard it didn't matter. He shook his hand. The truth may hurt, but humble pie was made to be eaten.